Howdy, cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. Don't really care. But, you know, I actually kind of do. Just don't tell anyone. Been really busy. We got some ace stuff, some good early stamps, a couple of penny blacks. There you go. Two penny blues. They're joined together. And the two of the one penny reds as well that are joined together. Some nice little bits. Some gold and other stick pins. Little wind up Pac Man toy. Really nice um, cast iron padlock over the back of a sort of lion's head. Uh, some gold plated bangles. Some nice modern French jewellery in the box. Tumbled amber. Some more amber in the silver settings. The bracelet and the ring. Nice little sort of uh, souvenir postcard of uh, Luna Park. Some cool old specs. Nice lots of silver jewellery. Coins and stuff. Some nice bits in the jewellery cabinet. Some of these stamps are rippers. Alright, what else have we got? Nice little chip carved table. Made out of cowry. No, it's just made out of pine, this one. But it's really nice. Little sort of deco baker light and white standard lamp. Other nice big Victorian mahogany veneer bow front chest. And this is really nice as well. This is sort of Sheraton style uh, display cabinet. Nice sort of inlaid bands of decoration. A nice the, the, the little uh, glass panels curve inwards. Mirror on the back. Good thing. It's in great condition. A little bit there might have been lost off that corner. Little drop side oak table. Another pretty cool little little lamp there, sort of four pronger. And this is a nice little cowrie pine chip carved. Singer sewing machine's a ripper. Now if you ever want a big picture of an of an ostrich, there's your chance. Look at it. It's massive. <laughs> it's like bigger than life size. Alright, what else we got? This cool little travelling portmanteau case. Got some really cool vintage clothing, the men's Two-piece sort of flared suit with the cool check print. There's other pairs of check jackets and sports jackets and pants and amongst there as well. Really nice vintage ladies coat. Virgo model or Virgo label made in Melbourne. And cool more vintage men's clean the big heavy trench coat. Nice suit. Flapper dress and some other nice ladies stuff. This is pretty ace. The tuxedo ski suit. <laughs> Another good group lot of ladies. And there's some cool old t-shirts in here. And some great old iron-on t-shirt transfers as well. Bob Dylan. There you go. Space Koala. Some of these little ones are cool as well. It's a good little group like that box. What else have we got? Two nice oak card file drawers, which I'm pretty sure fit CDs in them. Good China. Records. Blue and white China. Little group lot. With a little sort of motorbike clock, little HO gauge triang trains a ripper over the back, and some other little things. Yeah, but 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 some golf clubs. We still got a drum kit, three boxes, and a bowling bag. Some good audio gear. Big lot of books. There's a nice pair of Edwardian armchairs. One of them's a little bit bigger than the other one. They're both in really good condition. Nice little camphor wood trunk. Bit unusual, the shape. And we've got some nice stuff in here. A couple of little dinky toys. Nice cigarette card album and content of all sort of speed. Record breaking sort of vehicles and stuff. Cool little sort of funny little lantern. And some little Volkswagen and Mercedes and other stick pins. Nice lot of bottle openers. Things like that. All right, some cool little tables. You got the glass tops in the bubble wrap. This is a good little lot of sort of mid-century gear. Little HMV Rhapsody, little sort of radiograms a ripper. Nice little coffee table as well, and the other two little bits. This is lovely bit. This the old cedar sort of spade back with a nice small size tilt top. <coughs> oh, Gesundheit. This thing's cool. Big old workbench. With the share shop mate sort of set up on it. And here's all the spare bits in the box to go with it. And the actual little bench itself is mobile. 
little back legs up the end there, you can sort of kick them back out. All of a sudden it drops down and it's on the wheels. It's a really cool thing. Right, what else have we got? Some nice little chairs, little Edwardian corner one, nice little Oak Arts and Crafts one. This is all sort of point of sale racking and stands, magazine rack. And these black ones with the big metal frames and all the sort of little hooks and stuff hang off them. Looked like they were for tapestry and wool. But I reckon you could probably fit Hot Wheels cars or something like that hanging off them in their packets. What else have we got? The wine bottle rack and a little sort of hanging rack there to put your pots and pans in the kitchen. A uh, cool little ammo crate with some other bits. Little fans, little ripper. Someone's put a bit of gaffer tape and stuff around him back in 1968 to hold him together. But he's a nice little bit. Big lot of kids' toys. A little record player. Some good kids' books. Some good workshop manuals. Nice little pair of Eddie chairs. There's a nice little cedar, sort of mid-century nest of three. Another good turntable. What else have we got? A little portable uh, typewriter and a fan. Cool little soft toys. How cool is this little poodle? Three-wheeled scooter with some other stuff. Good lot of tools. Nice old push bikes, just the frames mainly. One of them is a Waltham, Waltham Star or something. Trying to cash in on Malvern Star. Some tools and a nice old sort of planter. Howl, I think, or American company that made the two chairs. They need a little bit of a tidy up. So we've put them with these two little outdoor chairs that also need a little bit of a tidy up. This is pretty cool. The mid-century sideboard. Nice little Akai reel-to-reel. I really like this little sort of shield-shaped sort of lead light fire screen or spark arrester. Nice pair of Tessa, I think it's T21 armchairs. There's a cool lot as well, all the sort of vintage household linen and stuff. The big quilted bedspread, and you've got all these towels. Cool big 70s rug in there as well, but you've got his and her sets of towels and other sort of cool stuff. We've got some good paintings and stuff this week. Carlo Jurovic, massive big tapestry. And this is another one by him as well. He's an American artist. There's actually a nice little label on the back of this. California Desert, Diamond of San Francisco, 1982, natural pigment dyed hemp, Carlo Jurovic, Yugoslavian, 1945. Really good thing. I really like these. I don't think I'm the only one. A bit of 3D element about them. There's things through there to sort of make the little section stick out. Stuff like that. Really cool things. Some nice Aboriginal paintings this week. Robert Nanala. Uh, oh, goodness, I can't remember. I'm a bit hopeless. There's another Robert Nanala. Uh, Regina, signed Regina K. Lower right. There's all details in the back. I've just forgotten their names off the top of my head, which is actually pretty average, to be honest. It's little ones by Hilda Staines. Nice little one, Bush Tucker Dreaming. They've all got their titles and they've all got accompanying paperwork and stuff to go with them. And this thing's cool. Robert Marino, 1994, like three-dimensional sort of sculpture, wall thing. Really cool. Like these little green enameled sort of bachelor stoves. These are nice expandable sewing box and contents. Freestanding mirrors. John Gould print. It's just a print, it's not a litho. Little Chinese or Malaysian woodblock prints. Nice big lot of ribbons and things like that. Cars and an old bike dynamo. Funny little lot of sort of key rings and jewellery and stuff. Bit of Wallace and Gromit action. Star Wars gear. This is pretty cool. World War II German Army Mountain Troops rucksack. There you go. And it is. It's all right. Some actual little markings on the back of the leather here. Great bit. Nice old extinguisher. There you go, an old explosives crate with a book on explosive user's guide. <laughs> Some watches, soft toys, Papa Smurf and his pals. Really cool book, Bunny's Honeys, all the photography of Bunny Yeager. These are nice, these, the Mint Australian Stamp Yearbooks. We've all got every Mint stamp issued in those years. Lovely big book on Gustav Klimt. 
You got the five little Cupid dolls, which I'm pretty sure are going to be the what's it worth this week. Two bits of sort of sporting stuff. You got the signed swimming cap, Kieran Perkins, and a couple of others. Big lot of sort of movie stills and reproduction photographs and stuff. A little lot of retro gear, like the little Rosenthal vase. It's pretty cool. The hanging sort of lantern. Good lot of cassette tapes. Danny Minogue, Kylie Minogue, Foreigner, Maxi Priest, Madonna, Jenny Morris, Richard Marks, Cindy Lauper. Some cool stuff in there. Glass rolling pin with the scales. Little cigarette dispenser that's musical that we can't get to open up. Another good little lot of cassette tapes. Michael Jackson, Die Straits, Queen U2. Transvision Vamp, bit of REM. A lot of Oz Pottery. A little mix, lot of ceramics and stuff. Big tarpa cloth. A little wood, this little nice little leather sort of riding sort of case. Goes with a big album full of World Wildlife First Day covers. And some nice little sort of obelisks. Portable typewriter, some more cool cassette tapes. These are all Australian. The Cruel Sea, Rose Tattoo in excess. Cold Chisel, Black Sorrows, Ian Moss, Hoodoo Gurus, Midnight Oil, good lot. Camera, Cuckoo Clock and some magazines. A couple of pretty cool marionette puppets. Ganesh with his trunk. <laughs> uh, more good lot of cassettes. Chili Peppers, Bon Jovi, Faith No More, Kiss. Great little bear with a lot of cassette sort of dictaphones and other things. A lot of grunge cassettes, Nirvana, Mud Honey, Roland's band, bit of Dinosaur Jr. A lot of English China, Royal Albert, and some other Dalton and stuff. Heavy metal cassettes, Slayer, Anthrax, Metallica. Have a cool little lot there. A little sort of lady or the little baby head vase is pretty cute in amongst there, and little Clasone eggs. Suicidal tendencies and a bit of screaming trees. Mark Lanigan passed away the other day, which is a big shame. He's a great singer. Another good lot of cassettes. We've got Bowie, The Doors, Neil Young. Bit of Public Image Limited. Lou Reed, The Damned. Cool lot. There you go. A little motion lamp there with a little sort of felt-covered money box. <laughs> motion lamp's cool. It's just missing the little spinny thing that should go on top, but it's got other bonus bits in there. All right, what else? Nice old books. Family room signs a ripper. A pair of sort of reproduction leg manacles. And these are all really nice stamp albums this week and their contents. Some Australian stuff, overseas, early American stuff. Craft yearbooks, Ainsley tea set. This is really nice as well, a little sort of carved and pierced alabaster table lamp. Nice big fiddleback walking stick down the bottom here with the big sort of plated top. Great retro lamp, really nice little Victorian oil lamp that's been converted or electrified. That's really nice with the satin glass shade in the bowl. And how's that fancy pants plated epern? That's pretty amazing. You've got three branches coming out. You've got branches of leaves and stuff as well. There are some little maker's details on the front here. Mint Australian stamps, Australian postcards, more good stamp albums and their contents. Wellesco, Steam, Shelley, great little Bakelite clock, Australian pre-decimal, mainly mint stamps, and the top shelf we've got some nice gear. Nice little art glass vase, this is an early little bit of Coalport, handwritten mark underneath. There you go, you got Merlin's crystal ball, which could be worse, you could have two of them. This is a signed early edition Anias Gunn book, We of the Never Never. So it's signed, I think, Jeannie Gunn, which is her real name. Anias wasn't her real name. Packet of South Park, unopened South Park Cheesy Puffs. These are really cool. Best before 27th of May, I think, 2000. Really cool. To see them still in their box is pretty amazing. Little pair of Beryl Armstrong candlesticks. One of them's got a little hairline, unfortunately. Great retro Smith's clock. Great retro West German pot. A really unusual little bit of Carl Cooper. Australian potter, used to just live around the corner in Murrumbina. Nice little bits, all signed on the back. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good.